When George and Rosie Douglas had their first child, Johnny, they couldn't have been more happy. It was a difficult labor and cesarean section delivery, but when it was over, they had a healthy nine pound little boy. But a day after Johnny was born, when their pediatrician told them Johnny had jaundice, they were both a little worried. The friend um, had a little boy and he had jaundice too, and he was in the hospital for a week. So that was really concerning after hearing that story. Jaundice occurs when the red blood cells in the body are broken down too quickly for the baby's liver to handle it. As the red blood cells die, the oxygen-carrying hemoglobin contained in them is converted to a yellow substance called bilirubin. It's this high bilirubin level that causes jaundice. When it gets high, it can get into the brain, and for reasons, again, that we don't fully understand, can stay in the brain. When it does that, it can be toxic to the brain cells. It can actually cause damage. 60% of newborns in the United States become clinically jaundiced. In Johnny's case, as with many cases of jaundice in newborns, the pediatrician recommended that Johnny be placed in a special bed under fluorescent lights designed to convert the bilirubin into a form easier for his liver to eliminate. Well, they rolled in the machines and all these lights and they're setting it up. Yeah, it's kind of unnerving, but once it's in there, it was fine. And for Johnny, that was the end of the story. His bilirubin level dropped and his pediatrician continued to monitor him for about three weeks. That care and concern obviously paid off. He's doing great. He's, um, he has no issues about that anymore and um, he's growing and he's healthy, thank God, and he's doing wonderful. This baby is a bit jaundiced actually. Since bilirubin usually develops between 36 to 72 hours after a baby is born, it's important that parents stay in contact with their pediatrician in the early days after birth to check their babies for signs of jaundice. Home tomorrow and he's now 36 hours old. Looks like your nursing is going well, but you've been nursing him great, like eight to ten times a day. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, we, we did check his, his jaundice level, his bilirubin level, and I just want to show you what I want you to keep an eye out for. You see that if you, if you press his nose, he looks just a little tiny bit yellow. You can almost not see it, but there's a little bit of a yellow tinge when you press his nose like that, mm -hmm. okay? And when you get home, if you see the color going down like that on his body, then you need to let us know. What parents and caregivers should look for, especially in babies who are less than 40 weeks gestation, are signs of jaundice in the face or chest, if the baby seems lethargic, or if the baby is not feeding well. This situation should be carefully monitored by the pediatrician. As George and Rosie found out with Johnny, who is now 14 months old, having a pediatrician help you through the experience works wonders for your peace of mind. It's always great when you have a professional tell you that not to worry, this is common among infants, and, uh, just, you know, and they give you a procedure to follow, and you follow it. It's, 